Good morning, everybody. So I'm sure you're seeing what's happening here with the demons. Um, I, I'm telling you, man, I, I don't, I, I, I'm truly dumbfounded by all of this. Here's what I want to tell you guys. You all know me for the past seven years here. You know what my past is. You know wh where I had to travel on this path and where I am right now. And you know I have never lied, ever. For the last seven years, I've been trying to warn all of you of who that tarot demon was. And no matter how much abuse I got, I never gave up on any of you. So here's what I want to tell you guys. What I have truly learned, without a doubt, that there's no question in my mind. Is that Satan is ruling the religions from the east. That is truly what I believe at this point. And they're mimicking the things that are listed in the Bible. Jesus is the only way. And I have to tell you, for any one of you that studied with any of those gurus over there, you have demons in you. If you have your kundalini open, you have the snake demon in you. And probably a few more things. If you came from abuse, which probably most of you did, otherwise you wouldn't have been on a spiritual path to begin with. You probably had demons from when you were a child. So uh, here's what I would like to tell you. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only name these demons are afraid of. Do you understand? This is what clinched it for me. Jesus is the only name these demons are afraid of. You have to understand what the truth is. And I believe this with all my heart. Or I wouldn't say it. You guys know this. So here's what I would like to tell you. Um, uh, a couple of days ago, I was given a message to tell these pastors out here that they better repent. Or God is going to let them experience what's coming for them. And there was actually only one pastor out here who has a healthy fear of God. Who actually did some introspection. And made a video about why are pastors narcissistic. He actually did some introspection on himself. And he did repent. And that is Mike Signorelli. And if any of you are ready to get away from tarot, to get away from the pendulums, to get away from the, the psychics, to get away from the mediums, to get away from all of this occult stuff, witchcraft, um, here's what I would like to tell you. I am going to be helping you out here to slow down the mind, to get in the oneness space. But here's what I would like to tell you. If you're ready to have demons cast out of you, I would recommend Mike Signorelli to you without a doubt after what he's done. I see that he has a healthy fear of God. And he did do the introspection and actually made it public. I would highly recommend him to you without any question. Yeah, he's still working on some issues. So are we all. The only perfect person that was ever on this planet was Jesus Christ. These other demons, fake pastors out here, don't seem to understand that. As they all call you the scum of the earth, the, the, the new age, the new age group, okay? I, you, you must understand this. You know, people want to tell you that they're all special and, and God is flowing through them because they, they, uh, they have these spiritual powers. They speak in tongues. They cast out demons. Doesn't mean a damn thing. Doesn't mean a damn thing. Do not be taken in by these fakes out here because they're showing you spiritual powers. That's not what you need to look for. You need to look for someone who is constantly humbling themselves before God. That's what you need to look for. The other person I would recommend you to is Bob Larson. No matter what, no matter what, no matter what people do, no matter, no matter what is going on, no matter how many demons he casts out, his only words are, who do you have to thank for this? And no, he's not looking for them to say, thank you, Bob. No, it's always Jesus Christ. Always Jesus Christ. Bob Larson is a true man of God. Okay? I would recommend Mike Signorelli, or Bob Larson, if you need demons casted out of you. The other place I would recommend you to is Encounter TV. 
another another uh, pastor there who is, is filled with the Holy Spirit and is totally of God. And that's it. I would tell you honestly, stay away from everybody else out here. Stay away from them. Stay away from them. Now, this demon that attacked me last night and actually called me a demon with the word of God, I want you to understand, with the word of God, only demons abuse God's word like that. Only demons abuse God's word like that. He's getting ready to put out a video saying Jesus is, is man and uh, spirit. Let me tell you something. Jesus was man while he was on the earth. These idiots don't even know their own scripture. Jesus was man when he was on earth. When he was raised from the tomb, his body was unrecognizable. You see, with the, the, the serious problem here is they're calling everything new age. They don't want to understand about what happens with vibration and energy. That angels themselves can transmute energy and create a form for themselves. Angels can create a form for themselves. Demons can't. This is why demons have to jump in people's forms. Angels can. So no, Jesus is not a body. Jesus was a body when he was on the earth, which is what I said, which is what I said. He's not a body. He is spirit. He's spirit. Doesn't mean he can't create a body for himself anytime he wants. He absolutely can. So can every single one of the angels. And you in the, in the mystic community, I know that you absolutely know this. So sit back and witness the ignorance of these people as they, they show their ignorance and they show their ego as they want to stamp on anyone who has went to Hinduism or studied mysticism at all. As if they are any better than any one of us. So please do not be taken in by any of these fake spiritual powers. Do not, do not, do not, do not. Their egos are so massive, I can't stomach it. To, to use God's word to attack people is the ultimate, is the ultimate demonic thing for anyone to do. If you're ready, if you're ready to come home to Jesus Christ, I will be on here teaching you how to slow your mind. If you're suffering with PTSD and you're having flashbacks, I will be on here teaching you how to stop your flashbacks. And you can go to Mike Signorelli or you can go to Bob Larson if you need demons casted out of you. And uh, Mike, Mike is a pastor. He also does teachings from the Bible. Uh, uh, Encounter TV also does teachings from the Bible. So there's many people to choose from out here, but I'm telling you, you, you all know me a long time now. I would stay away from these other demons out here with the massive egos, the, the, especially, uh, you know, how anyone could say that they're following Jesus Christ when they absolutely look down on other people like this is beyond me. It is beyond me. Uh, it is purely demonic, as you have now, I hope, fully witnessed with that tarot demon, what I've seen in her this whole seven years, she's now fully exposed. It's purely demonic behavior. This is not Christ-like, and that's really all I want to say. That really is what I want to say. Christ went and ministered to the prostitutes, to the, the taxpayer, to the criminals. Christ never, ever, ever put down anyone as being less than, never. So you understand what these people are displaying? Not only their ignorance of their own scripture, but it's, it's purely anti-Christ. It's not Christ-like at all. Not at all. And you guys ultimately are going to have to make your own choice. But you have enough knowledge about the spirit world now to understand that vibration and energy is an absolute in God's creation. And this is why angels can transmute energy to create a form anytime they want. Demons can't. This is why they need to jump in people's forms.
And Jesus can create a form anytime he wants. Anytime he wants. These ignorant, ignorant people out here. Because they refuse to listen to other people. Because they're arrogant. They think they know better than everybody. And they look down at other people. It's not, not Christ-like. It is the exact behavior of the Antichrist. There, there's only one person uh, <clears throat> out of these pastors out here that have been a part of this, what's going on here, and that is Mike Signorelli. He's the only one that I would ever recommend anyone to because he has, in fact, done the introspection, and he has repented to the Lord, as the Lord told him to do. He's the only one that's done it. He's the only one that's done it. You guys be blessed. Uh, I will be having more teachings coming up. I'm no longer focusing on these demons. This is what happens. You understand how all the, I, I said, I'm, I'm baffled how all of these people with massive YouTube pages are attacking. Why? Why? Because the light shines bright here. That's all I can tell you guys. The light shines bright here. Come on home. Come on home. Jesus is waiting for you. Be blessed.